Alright, yo, what's going on? Alright, yo, what's going on, YouTube? It is your boy Q. We're back again with another video. I know I've been gone for almost like two weeks now, and I was sick for a little bit. My voice was just messed up, so I was kind of just not motivated to make a video just because my voice just sounded kind of weird. But, anyways, I'm feeling better. The voice is kind of back to normal. And if you guys haven't heard, Juice World dropped his album, Fighting Demons. And so far, I'm really liking it. I know it's been kind of getting uh, a little bit of hate from some people for not being the best album. And obviously, it's not on Juice World, it's on the label for doing that. But I. I think it definitely told like a good story for exactly like what what happened in his life at that point and for me juice world is pretty much i think i want to say probably my number one artist top two for sure but yeah of course rp the legend rp the goat best freestyler known to man but anyways today we're going to be making a little video for him we're going to be making a beat and kind of making a song over it basically we're just going to be making a track we're going to make a beat with a loop we're going to be using a guitar loop and then we're going to try and make a song on it just so you guys could get kind of an idea on maybe how his workflow was but basically i'm just going to try and recreate how I feel like he would work. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Oh, and real quick, if you guys could do me a huge favor and follow me over on Instagram, all social media as well. And of course, if you guys want any of the sounds, kits, vocal templates, anything like that, head over to queenedbobby.com. The link is always in the top description below. All right, so first thing I did, since we're going for the song like Fighting Demons, which sounds like this. I see the world from my window. I grabbed a guitar loop, so I basically just went on YouTube and typed in Juice World style guitars, and I found this one, so shout out Beats by Tendency. But basically, I found this loop in the video called Closed Gate, so I downloaded that, and we're gonna bring it into FL. So I brought it into my loops folder. It should be right here. Then we're looking for Closed Gate. Throw this in here. It looks like it's B minor, B major maybe, 180 BPM, so we'll bring that up. The first thing I'm gonna do is just set this over to stretch, so it just locks with the BPM if we change that later. And I'll just let you guys listen to what it sounds like so far. So basically what I'm going to do is he included the stems, which is huge. Uh, so we're just going to cut this up. All right, so now we have it all organized. And one thing I like doing is we have this base on the bottom. So I'll solo that out for you guys. And basically what I'll do is just make it unique. And we'll route it to a different mixer track just so we could go and the rest of the melody is actually routed over to mixer track one. So what we could do is when we go and add that 808, we want to make sure there's no low frequencies messing with that 808. So I go to the third preset on the Fruity Parametric EQ. And I just pull out all the low end to make sure once we do bring that 808 in, there's no low frequencies that'll mess with that. All right, so I think I'm just going to quickly make an intro. So what I'm going to do is take these two mixer tracks and I'm going to route it over to mixer track five. And what we're going to do is add a fruity love filter and we're going to right click the cutoff and create an automation clip and then right click on this mixer and also create an automation clip. And then we're going to have the mix level of the fruity love filter right here just cut that off right here so it's it'll no longer be on the track anymore after this point and then we're basically just going to do like some kind of transition here in the intro then i'm going to loop this and this is a 16 bar loop so i'm going to bring a pattern in for the drums we're going to make it eight bars and just duplicate it over for the 16 bar portion. And then we're gonna head over to my drum kit and get started on the drums. All right, so for the majority of the drums in this video, I'm gonna be using my Cyber Drum Kit, which I've been getting a lot of feedback from you guys and you guys are liking it, so I'm really glad you guys are liking this kit. But for the majority of it, I'm gonna be using this one. We might add like a kick or two from Full Circle, but we're gonna start out with a clap for now. Knob up a little bit. Yeah, 
like that for now. Uh, let's get a snare going. And then uh, we're going to do some open hats and then the 808. And then I'm going to get this 808 from my cyber drum kit called Whack. We're just going to drag this in. Make sure we do cut itself. Oops that clone uh, it cut itself and we're gonna turn it all the way up and then it says the key of this is B I'm assuming that's B major so we're gonna bring it down here and I'm gonna go to the view section right here scale highlighting and set it to B uh, major right here and then let's see if we can come up with a pattern all right so I actually think it is B minor so we're gonna change it back to minor <laughs> Trying to add some rolls to this, make it a little bit more unique. Like a third of a step, maybe like this. Yeah, so that's perfect. So all I'm going to do is route these drums to the mixer track. Probably going to add a kick, but uh, I think I'm going to add a fruity wave shaper to this 808 just to add some kind of distortion on top of that. A fruity wave shaper. And then we're just going to go through some of these presets. You can right click one of these and let's try like... to kind of mix these drums i'm going to add a fruity reverb to the open hats and then the hi-hat as well and then we're just going to play with the mix into full circle just because my cyber drum kit does not actually have kicks and that's just because i feel like kicks are kind of kind of going out of style a little bit but uh you know every once in a while you need a kick i'm just gonna get this one called real and drag it over top the 808 and that's pretty much it for the beat so now what we're going to do is just split that drum channel and we're just going to arrange the beat a little bit so we're going to have everything drop right after this like bridge part right here and then i'm going to duplicate the drums over and take out the kick and then we're going to duplicate all all of the melodic parts over we're going to go for something like this just bring all the drums back over but we're going to have them come in delayed have the clap hit first and then the Probably something like this. Let's see. And 
that's the whole beat right there. So we're just gonna save it, render it out, pull it up into FL Studio again. We'll load up one of my vocal templates and we'll just try and lay down like a little song or something. All right, so basically what I did here is I just pulled up my mixing template and then I also pulled up, and then I actually pulled up my Yeet preset as well and just applied it to mix track number one here, which is uh, what we're gonna be using. Of course, if you're interested in any of this, so you can freestyle on your beats or anything like that, if you head over to quindibaba.com, click the vocal templates page. Um, I'm using this one right here, Yeet Up To Me, and this is the preset that I'm using. And then I have my mixing template right here, which if you wanna watch a video on that, check the pinned comment or the link in the description below. It basically shows you how I use this and basically the best way to, uh, shows you the best way to record, mix, and all that stuff in FL Studio. So now we're gonna pull the beat into FL Studio here, bring the BPM up to 180. And because this is an MP3, every time you have an MP3 file, you kinda gotta trim this little like blank noise out. It's a wave, you don't have to do this, but MP3s for some reason have this little blank noise in there. And then I'm gonna turn my mic off in here, turn it on here. Like you got it now I know you faking it But like, uh-uh Yeah, it's 